Hello, I'm going to demonstrate for you today how to change your hip dressing. I would like you to change your dressing daily until the first follow-up appointment with your surgeon. First, I would like you to gather your supplies, which include the gauze dressings and tape that were given to you from the hospital in a trash can. We recommend having someone assist you in changing your dressing. Please wash your hands with soap and water before you begin. We would like you to be placed in a comfortable position. First, take off the old dressing and throw it in the garbage. Next, monitor for signs of infection. That includes increased redness or swelling, red streaks from the incision, thick drainage that is yellow, gray, or brown, or if you develop a fever that's greater than 101, we would like you to notify your surgeon. On the incision, you may notice stary strips or a closure called derma bond tape. They will fall off on their own and become dry and flaky, or your surgeon may take them off at the first follow-up appointment. Next, put two or three dry gauze over the incision. and cover with tape until it's secure. Please keep your dressings in the Ziploc bag that was given to you or keep them in a place that is not dirty or contaminated. After you have changed the dressing, wash your hands with soap and water.